are food TikToks to watch while you eat. Just don't watch them while you're hungry. Imagine if Taco Bell made a crunch wrap with Doritos. Oh no. It would probably be the best thing on their menu. Bruh. So let's make it at home and even better. She's making She's making Dorito. What? My grand aunt gave me her Sarari cookbook, and in it was a Coca-Cola hot roast. A Coke? So I had to recreate my own version. What? I used only salt and pepper on the roast like the original recipe. Coca-Cola? Seasoning police, you can add as many different seasonings as you want. In a large pan, stir your roast on all sides. Add some onions, celery, rosemary, thyme, and carrots. Oh, no. Add okay. two and a half cups of cola. It won't taste like cola. It just tenderizes the meat. Google it. Bruh. For more flavor, add one pack of Bruh. fresh onion soup and enough water to almost cover the pot roast. Bring to a boil, turn down the heat, Go. and let simmer for two and a half hours. Add in some potatoes and let simmer for an additional 30 minutes. By now, it should be juicy and tender. I love making pot roasts because they're pretty easy and hands off. Okay. I told y'all there's food at home. You see, this first image right here with the, with the pot roast looks really good but you lose me right here you see this giant bottle of coca-cola that just doesn't sit well with my brain i'm just saying it's a it, mm, i don't know not not a huge fan of that idea so all right what do we got next pasta, pasta. gg hadid olive oil i love onions yeah Tables, tomato paste. Okay, I'm liking it so far. What else we got? That's a lot of heavy cream. Salt, black pepper, smoked paprika, chili. Ooh, spicy. More chili flakes. Ooh, I like garlic powder. I like garlic powder. Then, of butter, More Parmesan cheese. Cookies. What the? Mix it up That's a lot of... Pasta? Water. pasta? Looks like that. That's up. Mm -hmm. This final product right here, I'm going to rate this a solid seven or eight. Like, legit. Like, it looks so, like, not professional that I feel like you would eat this and be like, dang, this is bomb. Right? I'm just saying, it, it probably is really creamy and really delicious. Just saying. If you love tacos, you oh, have to make tacos. this. I'm not even kidding. It's the best thing we've ever eaten in our lives. Best thing so ever eaten in your lives. In a pot, you add some beef stock, some bone broth, and some water to that. And then to that, you add a whole onion, a whole thing of garlic. You add some chili, some carrots, Bruh. a bunch of bay leaves, and some thyme as well. And you let that cook for an hour until... By the way, they, they didn't even measure this. They were just like, yo... Put the whole freaking carrot in there. Put the whole pepper in there. The onion. Put it all, the whole thing. All the veggies are like all soft and mushy. And then you take all the veggies out and put them into a blender. What? And listen, the real Mexican recipe has a bunch of dried chilies as well. You can't get those in Australia, so I just added chili flakes. And then you add some tomatoes. You add some more bay leaves, some cumin powder, some cloves. And then you mix that all up. And I also added some smoked paprika powder. I don't know why. I think I did for color. Who cares? Anyways. And then you sift that sauce back into the pot to get out all the chunky bits and you let it cook in that for three hours. And three I also topped it up for like every 40 minutes to keep it like wet. <laughs> but look how nice it pulls apart <laughs> after three hours. And then you dip the tortilla in the sauce, you put some meat on there, you put some sauce and some cheese on there and also some onion and coriander. You fold it up and oh my goodness, you're welcome. It's so good, I love it. Wait a second, wait a second. Okay, that looks pretty bomb, all right? But we gotta talk about a few things. She said three hours. You can see while it's cooking, it looks pretty good. But then you start thinking to yourself, wait a moment, wait a moment. You still gotta wait three hours. And what well, was up with all this? Up, and I also added some smoke packets. This just powder. seems I like. Why. I think it did for color. <laughs> what is up with this giggling? She's like a little schoolgirl excited for her first time ever cooking. I would not wait three hours for tacos. No, thank you. I know there's a better way to do this. 100%. No way. There's. There's more sauce here than freaking tacos. I don't know what's happening. Nutella hot chocolate. Nutella hot. Nutella? Oh. That's a lot. A pinch. Vanilla extract and a splash of heavy cream. Stir this up over medium heat until well combined. Pour your hot chocolate into a blender. Then blend at the highest speed. 
coat the lid of your mug in Nutella, pour in your hot chocolate, add a homemade marshmallow, and give it a quick torch, then finish with- But who just got torches at home like that? chocolate just doesn't get better than this. Okay, all right. Mm. Listen, I'm just gonna throw this out there, all right? I am, I, I, I'm offended by this picture, and I'll tell you why. This is a plastic cup. Plastic. Who drinks hot chocolate out of plastic cups like this? Why? This should be a crime. You should just get a nice, nice cup like this. A, a glass cup. What? This guy's got a homemade marshmallows with a torch. Who's got this stuff? How do you have a homemade torch with marshmallows, but you don't have nice mugs for the, for the hot chocolate? That doesn't make no sense to me. Let's make candy lemons like All right, we got... I got this guy again. He's ruining his cutting board, by the way. I recommend using organic, so there aren't as many chemicals in the peel. Cut really organic. For a simple syrup, combine equal parts sugar and equal parts water. With Bro. A yellow food color. When it boils, add your lemon slices. Simmer this for about 45 minutes. Let them dry on parchment paper. Looks like I forgot a seed in this one. Mm. Well, life gives you lemon to make candy lemon slices. What? I just I, I didn't even realize at the beginning this dude said we're making candied lemons. Wait a second. People actually do that? Why not just go to the store and buy it? That seemed like a lot of work for freaking four lemons. That's a lot of, no, 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 no. No, thank you. Mashed potatoes should not have lumps. These are the best. Okay. Episode, back to basics. All right, let's. Potatoes. All right, mom, let's go. What are we doing? Wash them, don't be dirty. One inch dice. Fill cold water. Could be cooked evenly. Let's what the? Bubble over high heat. Post your salt. Vigorously. Bubble. 10 to 12 minutes. Oh my god! Return to the pot. The heat of the pot will evaporate yes, the mom. excess moisture. Yes, Don't mom. Don't skip this step. If you do, they'll be watery. Let it set five minutes. Three quarter cup, unsalted butter. Pepper Holy! Cup. That's like a whole freaking cow! Warm the cream, medium low well heat. Use a ricer or a food mill. No lumps. Add the butter and the cream. Oh. And the salt. What the? Holy, that's the smoothest. That's the smoothest potatoes I've ever seen in my life. What the, is that olive oil? What was that? Making lunch for my husband. Make it, huh? And his coworkers. And yep, his coworkers? It. it is that time again, and it's still not the hubby's turn, but it's okay. They asked if I can make their lunch, and I said yes. So today I decided to keep it super simple, oh, she... and I'm making them Big Papa Surf and Turf Burritos. Surf and Turf Burritos? And in the morning, I grilled it and cut it up. For the surf, we're going to use some Big Papa Shrimpies. I'm just going to remove all the poo from them, cook them Thank in a you. little bit of butter. Not and a garden, big fan of shrimp. them up, add some chipotle, some lime, and some cilantro, and that's it, guys. Cilantro. Simple. Now it's time for the big You know this is a loving Hispanic wife. Of some buttery lime cilantro rice. Cilantro. Choice, I'm using some manchego and some Oaxaca. I'm going to add my steak, a little bit of guacamole, some fresh pico, and my shrimp. Bro. We're not done yet. We're also going to add a big handful of fries. Some what the heck? Some mayo and avocado sauce. Then I roll it up. Make sure it don't bust in my face. Because look at the size of this. Bust in her face. This is the reason why I call them Big Papa Burritos. Because they're huge. Then I wrap them up in some foil and put it in their phone box. As a treat, I decided to surprise them with a little tres leches cake. What? I soak the cake in the tres leches mixture and then I cover it up with a whipped cream top. Bruh. Add some strawberries and sprinkle it with a little bit of coconut flakes. For their drink, I made them an agua fresca de fruta, oh which my. is an agua fresca with the mixture of a lot of different fruits. You know I can't forget his note to let him know how much I love him. And agua fresca is sure pretty much like water and then like a bunch of fruits. Right on his hand. It probably and has like it, guys, sugar too. load everything up and drop it off during lunchtime. Bye. Today I'm making them Bro. bacon cheeseburgers with she a cooked her ham. I her. really didn't know what to call this burger because I was Autumn. inspired and Autumn. made it. So maybe you guys can Let me get my girlfriend to take notes. Follow this girl on TikTok. This onion, shrimp chunks, shrimp paste, a little bit of cornstarch, and then I season it up with Holy chupacabra's Cajun seasoning. And with wet hands, I begin to form my patties. I'm using brioche buns, so I'm going to shape them to the size of my buns. Then I coat them to the size of my buns. Before I take them to my fryer to fry at 350 degrees for five minutes until they got nice and crispy. For the beef patties, I'm just going to season those up with a little bit of two gringos chupacabra rub. Then I add some chopped onions, chopped jalapenos, and I don't know why the hell, but I add some mango in there. Then I mix everything up and started Bro. to form my patties using my tortilla press because it's way easier. Tortilla press? Easier. 
Then I cook them up on my comal because I still don't got gas. Add my cheese of choice. Then I place my patty on top of some crispy ham. Cook crispy. Up some bacon. Butter up my buns. Make sure they're nice and crispy. Then I spread some spicy homemade Thousand Islands all over my buns. Add okay. Some lettuce, tomatoes, the patty with the ham. By the way, there's ham. I'm gonna add two beef, slices of cheese, bacon. bacon. Then bacon. I add my crispy shrimp. Then crispy that shrimp. Wasn't enough, I'm then going to melt some mozzarella. Mozzarella. And then I drizzle it all over my shrimp patty. Bro. Top it off with my top bun and. Then these dudes are having yes, diarrhea know, on the I'm job. I'm having a hard time naming that, the burger because I use a whole lot of stuff. Now I'm just going to carefully wrap it in some parchment paper and cut it in half. Bro! So that way you guys can look at what the inside looks like. <gasps> Along with their burger, they're going to get a side of steak fries that I season it with more Cheap. two dingles chupacabra seasoning. I didn't have ketchup, so I'm just going to put some burning butthole hot sauce. So Bur I have the option between a Hold on. Did she just say burning butthole sauce? You see, I told you the coworkers be having diarrhea. I told you soda or a mango and they even cheese look lemonade. at this drink oh, and oh my know, they went straight for the dragon fruit drink and that's Bruh. it guys i'm just gonna hurry my ass up get everything ready for them including their drinks and they come and pick up this is i need it oh